Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga news video. I just finished watching the trailer, they just did a gameplay trailer, they showed off a bunch of new cutscenes and stuff like that as well as a brand new release date unfortunately. So I'm going to be doing just covering all that and I want to talk about some of the open world stuff in this game and just why I'm so excited, an amazing joke that they made and just and there's so many things that I want to say in this and um, some things that you may not have noticed as well as a pre-order bonus that may actually be tied to this trailer. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and, and let's get started. Let's start with the biggest thing and to me that's the open worlds. The, for the first time, Star Wars is going to have, I, I know they had in The Force Awakens, but now with just the way that games are now like the ability that they have to make these huge open worlds this is going to be the biggest lego star wars game and i think the biggest star wars game of all time the first one uh i'm just gonna go in order of like when they appear in movies was naboo and you could see there that anakin's in theed and it just it looks beautiful you could see how far back this thing actually goes which is just insane to me like it is just so lush like that just it, it's such a large area the next one that i saw was mace running around in the streets of coruscant there's huge buildings in the back like th th this this is insane there's so much that they're gonna have to be able to do in coruscant i am so excited about this there's even you could see there um in behind there's a little uh like voice blurb i don't know like so i'm guessing that's someone trying to give you a side quest or something so that is insane to me the sheer size of this like it's crazy it's crazy and so we're gonna be able probably to go to the jedi temple look at the of course the senate building and then you also had yaddle on kashik and kashik just looks huge this could be a level but i don't i feel like it's not um I, there looks like there's like a chest or something i, I don't know but uh, hopefully i either way like kashik is probably gonna be an open world and it's just insanely huge uh, the next one is Tatooine, and you could see C-3PO riding uh, on top of this Bantha. This could be a level as well, I'm just looking, but uh, it's just huge. This thing, that, like this this game is just going to be the biggest LEGO Star Wars and Star Wars game, I think, of all time. I'm, I'm beyond excited about it. And then you've also got Ajin Kloss, I think, if, if I recall, that's the name of it. This just looks like a really huge open world. This could be a level, and if... Again, if all these are levels, then that's even more insane uh, that they're just so big like this. But uh, some of the levels uh, for some of the movies that we've already played through in the other uh, three games, four four games, I guess, um, they're five if you complete the complete song. Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> all those levels, the ones that you actually play through, most of them, some of the parts of them are actually going to be like side missions that you do in the open world while you're traveling to the new levels. So... That's really cool, um, but let's move on. I just want to talk about one thing that I saw in a trailer as well, and that was while Finn was on top of the, those horse animals or whatever while they're on Exegol, the battle above Exegol, there's actually a mini kit in the background, and it's the classic Star Wars mini kit. So that's really cool to actually see here in-game back. Um, before we get to probably the biggest news, I just want to talk about my favorite joke. I, like literally laughed out loud like it was hilarious when uh palpatine and luke are talking to each other he's like I i'm a jedi like my father before me and then he's just like so be it pulls out the lightning and it's the stupid little <laughs> lego pieces instead of actually shooting lightning that was hilarious that is the jokes that i want them to do like that is so smart i love that that was that was so smart and then just the distance between them and he's got these tiny little pieces in his head that was fantastic uh the other thing that i've seen a lot of people complain about is the voice cast it would have been nice if they did manage to get some of the characters specifically ray was the one that i was most bothered by in the trailer but i get why they're not honestly they sound good like it just sounds like a video game for star wars so i don't necessarily mind that i feel like uh, Daisy Ridley would have been really easy to get. They got her for Battlefront, and I mean, it's not like she's up to anything right now, or really any of the cast members would have been really great to get right now. So, honestly, I, I think that it's fine. We'll have to wait and see who everyone else sounds like, uh, but I'm impressed. I hope that they get the cast from Clone Wars, and specifically, they got Maul, the, the voice for Maul, Sam Witwer, uh, doing the voice for Palpatine, and he's done that in the past for like... Um, rebels i think and as well as just the, the force unleashed games but 
The biggest news I think to come from this was actually literally a few hours before, there was news of a polybag coming out and it's set number 30625 and that's Luke Skywalker with blue milk. And uh, it's just kind of floating around in the LEGO community that the one with his blue mustache from Jabba's sail barge could be the figure. I hope that that's not the case. I, I mean, I don't really know what this polybag would be anyways. I just would hate for that to be the pre-order exclusive. I would, I'm would. i really holding out hope for the Rise of Skywalker Palpatine. That's my personal pick. I know that you may not like that movie, but I really do. And specifically, his design is just beautiful. So I really would love to get that figure at some point. But unfortunately, though, I do have some sad news about this. And that is that the game has actually been pushed back to spring of 2021 and that's a little disappointing to me because they had been you know they advertised that it was going to be out in 2020 we've also got all the sets out right now that are tied to that so it's just going to be weird if the january sets aren't connected to the game like they don't have codes or anything trying to promote it i don't know it's just kind of strange so i i hope that uh, they're able to kind of continue this marketing because it's really unique to this game they've never really done something like that and i'm really impressed by what they're doing so far with like having the sets so tied to the game and I think that it's really important with such a big game like this like I think when people think of Lego games it's the Star Wars games uh, in a lot of people's minds so I don't know I'm sad that it's 2021 but at the same time it gives them time to perfect this and who knows maybe those voices aren't final like we could they could change it for the final game they could record stuff now but the other thing revealed as well in the trailer is at the end that uh, this is also going to be on the next gen with the PS5 as well as the Xbox Series X. But what do you think of this? I, again, third time I think saying this in the video, biggest Lego game of all time and biggest Star Wars game of all time. And as someone who actually plays these video games, um, you know, I think that some other people in the Lego community, when they make statements about Lego games, it really deters people from wanting to play these games like you know we kind of have i don't want to say power and i just think that people who don't play the games shouldn't necessarily be commenting on gameplay or you know graphics and, and things like that because they're really revolutionizing this game a lot of the combat for lightsabers and blasters is all being reworked as well as the way that the force works so this beyond excites me and i personally don't see anything wrong with the graphics they are known for this style this is and these games aren't even made for really us in the Lego community. They're made for families. They're made for uh, people that, you know, people that like us, that we grew up with playing with our parents and, and brothers and sisters and different things. So that's just what I have to say about that. And I'm, I'm so excited about this. This is incredible. Every time that we talk about this game, I'm always just, just so impressed by it. So what do you think of all this? Uh, I want to hear your thoughts. Let me know down below in the comment section. I really do want to start a discussion about this because this is this is incredible. It really is. And it's unprecedented to have such a big Star Wars game like this as well with open worlds in Coruscant and Feed. And it's just, man, cannot wait. Cannot wait. But I hope that you did enjoy this video and I hope that you all have a great day. I'll see you all in the next one.